Unicell architectural timber curtain walls provide custom solutions to support architectural design inspirations that include the expansive use of glass, cleaner sight lines, and extension of the interior to the outside. This step-by-step -step instruction video will guide your Unicell architectural timber curtain wall installation with German technology at the core, showcasing ease of installation and the elegance of wood and glazed facades to deliver an architectural marvel without compromising performance. The curtain wall arrives on site in pre-assembled modules or sticks. Once on site, the assembly must be finalized by inserting the connecting horizontal mullions between the vertical mullion sections. Using the conventional method, start from the inside of the building and slide the horizontal mullion between the vertical mullions towards the outside of the building. Press the transom until the connector stops are engaged. Insert the special nail screws up to the thread using grease or a small amount of soapy water as needed to help with the insertion. Tighten the special nail screw. All vertical and horizontal mullions around the perimeter arrive at the job site with a membrane already pre-installed on them at the factory. This method accelerates the installation process of modules and ensures continuous and optimal sealing. Once all modules are assembled and installed, it is essential to seal the curtain wall to the building envelope. For the membrane overlap on the curtain wall, follow the steps on page 4 of the installation guide. Insert EPDM sealing foams for horizontal mullions, making sure they are not damaged and placed securely at the end of the gasket. If EPDM sealing foam are damaged or removed, replace with a new one. Once the EPDM sealing foam are in, overlap the horizontal gasket on the vertical gasket. and reinstall belay sheets on horizontal gaskets with flaps. When all gasket sealing is checked, glass may be installed on glass carriers pre-installed at the factory. Center the glass in the openings and use the appropriate sizes of shims. The use of temporary pressure plates is required to hold the panes of glass in place and to install the self-adhesive cross-point sealing plates. The cross-point sealing plate is used to provide a continuous seal across the exterior face of the glass. The cross-point sealing plates must be installed vertically or horizontally according to the pressure plate orientation. If the vertical mullion is continuous, then the sealing plate must also be in the vertical position. For installation instructions of the cross-point sealing plate, review page 6 of the installation guide. Continuous pressure plates must be installed first. Ensure that the horizontal pressure plate with the ventilation drain openings are installed in the correct downward-facing orientation. Be sure to screw the pressure plates perpendicular to the glazing. Inadequate or uneven screwing of the pressure plate may result in damage or breaking of the glass or pressure plate. Excess material must be removed from the transom pressure plates that have gasket flaps. Flaps are only needed for horizontal mullions longer than 4 feet. For more information on technical specifications to be followed and the removal of excess flap material, review pages 8 to 9 of the installation guide. Install vertical cap profiles first, followed by the horizontal cap profiles. For more information on how to resolve cap profiles that droop or deflect downwards, Consult page 11 of the installation guide. Unicell architectural wood and glazed facades offer you comfort, the nobility of wood, and unparalleled energy performance, no matter the scale of the project.